Okay, hi, uh, Isa. Hi, Eva. Hi, Elona. Hi. So we had a, a workshop where you um, told a few about a few projects which all both used uh, wearable technology. I thought we'd have a conversation. You tell a bit a bit about those projects, and we can think about what's special about wearable technology or wearable learning. Uh, how is it different from mobile learning? What are the potentials? So uh, maybe we will start with you, Eva, because you're wearing the uh, Google Glass, right? So. Uh, yeah, so what is it on your head? <laughs> uh, it's a Google Glass, it's a head mounted display, and you can control it with your voice and some uh, motions also. You can take pictures by blinking and, and uh -huh. things like that. Yeah, so it's possible to, it's, uh, it's like a smartphone. Uh -huh. on the nose, <laughs> so to speak, uh -huh. yeah, but it's, um, the apps are more seamlessly integrated. You don't mm -hmm. have open and close apps as on a smartphone, for example. Uh -huh. uh, and, um, and with the Google Glass, for example, you can use your both hands to do other things and then you can send mm -hmm. messages, you can uh -huh. <laughs> drink water, <laughs> uh -huh. and you can um, uh, Google for things, and uh -huh. you can... Uh, Sending emails or yeah. So you you used it in in um, uh, medical training, right? With with uh, dentists. Dentist, yes. Uh, and and how how was it used? What was the? Yeah, the, the um, students had a, a, a clinical practice, so they mm -hmm. had their own patients, and they were sitting in booths along a big hall, uh -huh. and the teacher were using Google Glass, so the students were having a, a media tablet communicating with the teacher when they needed help or needed a signature for something or, and so on and, mm -hmm. and um, so they were sending emails to the teacher or hang out to mm -hmm. say oh hi i need help now uh -huh. <laughs> and so the teacher answered the uh -huh. Google Glass, and sometimes when the teacher was treating a patient because sometimes she uh -huh. needs to do that also yeah. And uh, so she could answer a student while treating a patient at the uh -huh. same time. But and and could you see sort of uh, first of all, did they find it useful? Did they find it effective? Yes, it, it, they said one of the results were that um, uh, the result is that communication is facilitated. Mm -hmm. They get help faster, and they could communicate easier with, with the teacher. Mm -hmm. But of course, there were some challenges. Mm -hmm. with the Google Glass and the media tablets. Uh -huh. Wi-Fi, there is one, it really needs good <laughs> Wi-Fi or high-speed Wi-Fi uh -huh. to, to function. Uh -huh. And, um, uh, what, what and battery life, you say? Yeah, yeah, battery life, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, if you use them all the time, for example, in lectures and demonstrations mm -hmm. and things like that, the, the battery uh, lasts for one and a half hours. Okay. So, so it's a problem. So uh -huh. Wi-Fi and uh, battery life is... Uh -huh. uh, and they uh, uh, did they see sort of any potential for more complex uses of it, such as, you know, recording demonstrations or, or sharing practice and things? Yeah, the students said that would, when they are fixing your tooth, for example. They sometimes would like to have instructor movies so they can look at and mm -hmm. treating the patient at the same time and see uh -huh. that yeah, I'm, I'm doing it correct, for example. Uh -huh. And they also said it was, would be great to have um, x-ray images. Uh -huh. You had, instead of going to away to the computer, looking at the x-ray images and they go back to the patient, uh -huh. they could have the x-ray image oh, just in front of their eyes and then treat him and look at the x-ray mm -hmm. image. Mm -hmm. For example. Right, okay, thanks. Now, Ilona, your project was is really very different from that, right? But you have yes. your wearable technology as I'm well. I'm not wearing anything on my head. I'm wearing something on my uh -huh. hand. Uh huh. This so what is a that? smart fitness tracker. Uh huh. I will not be doing um, advertising for any company. For, here, yes. But there are many different trackers. Uh huh. And uh, we are just starting a project which is called F Move Fitness Move where we want to use uh, these wearable fitness trackers integrated into the learning environment and mm -hmm. we want especially to see how the elderly people, the senior citizens, uh, can use these trackers to interact with each other, to, for example, to exchange own fitness data and also to learn about uh, own healthy behavior, healthy lifestyle and uh, hopefully become healthier. So this is what we are going to test mm -hmm. and um, we are 
also facing some technical difficulty or some technical challenges at the moment, for example, integrating the data flow from the, speed, from the fitness trackers, because most of them, unfortunately, don't have open APIs. So uh, I really, really hope that there will be more and more products uh -huh. um, publishing open source uh -huh. um, so that the data can be used for other applications. And uh, the other difficulty is, uh, for example, the synchronization via Bluetooth mm -hmm. to synchronize this device and also the Google Glass you need the new Bluetooth version. This means you need the new mobile device, which has mm -hmm. the new Bluetooth 4.0, uh -huh. the lightweight uh -huh. Bluetooth version. But this, this is also a small... But limitation. still, I mean, in terms of the, the educational opportunity, it seems like you're kind of combining sort of quantified self with collaborative learning and, and, and kind of gamification mm -hmm. all, right. all in one. I mean, it sounds yeah. ambitious, but exciting at the same time. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. so this is a project that's just beginning, whereas exactly. your, your project, it's, a, it's already, you've already run a pilot with a medical students, right? Uh, so, Isa, maybe you can say, you know, why, why is this new? What, what's the, what difference do these technologies make, uh, you know, uh, in comparison to mobile technologies that we're already familiar with? Yeah, what is new is a good question. So new is when you can imagine every situation where you need both of your hands, like in a dentist um, um, office, where the dentist needs both of the hands to work and has then a kind of wearable technology on his or her nose or if in, at that hand to communicate first with the patient and use the hands for other work. So in a way you need um, all activities where you have those situations where you need to hands for other working, normal working activities, that, that kind of technology is useful. Uh -huh. I think in the future when we um, try to compare the different wearable technologies is that of course, there in the future, Google Glass, for example, has the benefit as well to to use augmented reality or to to put that to integrate augmented reality into that. So, for example, imagine again a dentist, um, and you are the patient sitting there, and the Google uh, the dentist uh, could use Google Glass for um, having the X-rays on the Google Glass, looking in the mouth to see the reality and match it with the X-ray to see what is going on and how can I help to make that tooth or those teeth mm -hmm. better in a way. So we combine then uh, the normal work areas with technologies to help the, mm -hmm. the work the work, the work, the I mean, another thing that, that came up in, in our workshop was that, you know, for instance, I'm using a mobile phone to record you now. I, it's very intrusive. I'm kind of looking at at the phone rather than you and so on. Whereas with glass, you know, it, it almost, or any sort of wearable technology, it really doesn't get in the way of your normal activity, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that those very fitness cool, yeah. trackers That's is cool. something that you just w go about your normal daily activity. Nobody really notices that you're, it's not like if you were holding a phone and, and you know yeah. then walking into yeah. a lamppost, right? That is, so that is a good summary. Yeah. 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 So you you were thinking of uh, maybe setting up a SIG for uh, wearable learning or something like that, yeah, right? I mean, that... We were thinking about establishing a special interest group at um, uh, EATEL uh -huh. <laughs> um, related to wearable technology. So, yeah, we'll have, okay. this will be able to start off soon. Good, so uh, we're looking forward to that and uh, yeah, do keep us posted when that happens so people can join. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.